Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Great American Stash Bash, the card edition. I actually completed it this month. I didn't do tags for this month. This month we are all occasion, but I did manage some cards using these foil stickers that I was not supposed to buy from Rosie's Studio. Um, these stickers were also highlighted in my... Um, stickier side of crafting collab for this month so um, I'm not sure which one will go up first I think the stickier side of crafting will be up so you guys have seen these a couple times now um, it was only I only bought these to get my card up to $50 so I could get free shipping so I put them right to use and got rid of them um, I took some of the pre-made cards from Hobby Lobby. These are the ivory ones, and I made, look at this, I made two masculine cards, you guys. I don't have any masculine cards. I do need to make some Father's Day ones, but, so this one just says, hooray, and this one is kind of plain, but that's okay. This one says, XOXO, that's an all occasion. You can use that whenever. This one says, so special, and I used Rosie Studio on all of these, so all of the paper, all of the ephemera, the stickers and even the vellum pieces are from Rosie's studio and that haul video is listed um, on my channel if you guys are in interested in seeing what Rosie's studio has to offer. They are a company based in Australia but my package I guess they use a different um, packaging company so my package actually came from Hong Kong. Um, it was decent shipping. It didn't take too long. And so far, um, aside from the paper being on the thin side, I am completely in love with Rosie Studios and will continue to be buying from them. Maybe not the, uh, what's going on with that card? I must have dipped it in ink on accident. There's no telling here on my desk. But other than the thin paper, I will um, probably avoid buying their paper just because I've gotten spoiled by thick cardstock. Um, but their paper is super pretty. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to, like, I don't want to um, say anything bad because the paper itself is really, really, really pretty and it's really affordable. But if you are looking for a thickness, let's say, of mente paper or even Prima paper, that is not what you get with um, Rosie Studio. So while they have really cute collections, um, I will only probably be purchasing the um, accessories like the ephemera. Um, their ephemera packs are huge. So uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's how that is. I let, and a birdie let me know that she had ordered the Make a Splash collection for me. So um, that's the Mermaid collection by Rosie Studio. And I'll be able to put that stuff together with my um, Echo Park uh, Mermaid stuff. And make with all of that combined. So yeah. Alright you guys. You um, take care. As always. The um, Build Your Stash Great American Stash Bash collab is not a formal collab, so you can join at any time. You don't have to participate every month. Um, it's open to anyone. There is a thumbnail. If you haven't already gotten it and you want it, you can just email me for that. Um, there's no list to keep up with as to who's participating. There's no um, rules as far as that goes. I do have a theme list that is in my original video. I'll link that below. And um, you guys can play along if you have the time. And I'll see you in next month's episode. Much love, you guys.